Hi children, today we are going to start our third lesson of the topic factorization. Before we start this topic, we have to be a little bit care about certain terms which is frequently used in this topic. The first one is coefficient of quadratic term. Coefficient of quadratic term is the number in front of the quadratic term. From this example, the number in front of x squared is 1. Therefore, coefficient of quadratic term for this expression should be 1. Then the next term is the coefficient of the linear term. Linear term is the x term over here, that means without any powers. Therefore, the coefficient of x or the linear term in this expression would be 7. And the last term is the constant term. That is the term independent of the variable in such question. Hopefully you can remember how did we factorize an expression like 10x squared plus 8x plus 15x plus 12. Initially we have separated four terms into two each. Then after that we took the common terms out then we factorized in that case, it will turn up into 5x plus 4 times of x plus 3. If you are new to this video, please watch my video, factorization video number 2. Let's try to understand the theory from a question. The question is to factorize x squared plus 3x plus 12. We have to follow up these steps. Step number 1. Identify the common terms available for all the terms in this expression. The first term in the expression is x squared, second term is 7x, third term is 2lx. You can simply understand that there are no common terms. Therefore, we can omit the step number 1. Step number 2. Separate the linear term, here the linear term is 7x, into 2 and form an expression like x squared plus 3x plus 4x. Plus 12, that means we have to split 7x into two terms. Step number 3 is apply the rule used in video number 2. That means uh, we have to follow up the rules what we have done in previous uh, video or what we have explained in the previous uh, slide. Now, our problem is how to separate x squared plus 7x plus 12 in form of x squared plus 3x plus 4x plus 12. You have to follow up these steps. Step number 1. Multiply the coefficient of the quadratic term by the constant term and write it as product of factors. That means here the coefficient of quadratic term is 1 and the constant term is 12. Therefore, you can multiply 1 by 12. Your answer would be 12. Then write 12 as product of the factors of 12. We know that we can write 12 as 1 into 12, 2 into 6, 3 into 4, etc. When you are writing in that, the sequence of writing the factors are not important. Now, add those multiplied couples and see whether can you obtain the coefficient of the linear term. That means here the linear term is 7. Then if you get the first couple, 1 into 12. If I add those to 1 plus 12, answer is 30. That is not 7. The second couple, 2 into 6. 2 plus 6 is 8. That is not 7. Third one, 3 into 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. Exactly matches with the coefficient of the linear term. Therefore, you can split the 7 x in form of 3x plus 4x. Therefore, you can write 7x as uh, 3x plus 4x. When you are writing for it, the sequence is not important as I mentioned you before. Therefore, you can write uh, this quadratic expression as x squared plus 3x plus 4x plus 12 or x squared plus 4x plus 3x plus 12. So, you can change the position of 3x and 4x and you can write it. Now let's try to uh, make up this question from the beginning. 
x square plus 7x plus 12 is the num it is the expression where we have to factorize therefore you can write x square plus 7x plus 12 as x square plus 3x plus 4x plus 12 as what we did in the previous slide therefore you can split the individual terms therefore you can write x squared as x into x 3x as 3 into x 4x as 2 into 2 into x and 12 as 2 into 2 into 3 when you are writing the factors of individual terms try to write with the minimum number that means uh, you can write this 12 as 2 into 6 but if you write with 2 into 2 into 3 you can understand the common terms much easily therefore now you can see that the common terms available in these expressions are x is common from first two terms x squared plus 3x the common term is x from 4x plus 12 2 into 2 is common therefore you can take x out from first two terms and 2 into 2 4 out from next two terms then if you take x from first two terms x plus 3 would be the first bracket and if you take 4 out x plus 3 again would be the next bracket therefore you can understand that x plus 3 become common therefore you can take this x plus 3 out again as a result you get the final answer as x plus 3 into x plus 4 hope you have understood this theory let's try to verify the theory from another example the question is to factorize x squared plus 9x plus 20 initially you can multiply the coefficient of x squared 1 by the constant term 20 1 into 20 become 20 therefore let's try to write the factors of 20 1 into 20 then if you add 1 plus 20 answer is 21 which is not similar to 9 the coefficient of x or the linear term then the next factor of 20 would be 2 into 10 2 plus 10 is 12 that one also not similar with 9 then 4 into 5 4 plus 5 is 9 which is exactly similar to the coefficient of uh, x in this expression now you can write 9x as 4x plus 5x or 5x plus 4x as i mentioned the sequence is not important therefore x squared plus 9x plus 20 breaks into four expressional term as uh, x squared plus 5x plus 4x plus 20 you have to follow up the same sequence therefore uh, x would be common from first two terms and 4 would be common from next two terms as a result you can write uh, the initial stage of factorizing as x times of x plus 5 plus 4 times of x plus 5 again 4 plus 5 become common from this expression therefore if you take x plus 5 out your answer would be x plus 5 into x plus 4 which is the final answer for factorized form of x squared plus 9x plus 20 now let's move to another question the question is to factorize x squared plus x minus 20 first step is you have to multiply the coefficient of the quadratic term 1 with the constant term minus 20 answer is minus 20 if you get the factors of minus 20 the answer answers are 1 into minus 20 1 into minus 20 if you add 1 1 plus minus 20 answer is minus 19 which is not similar to 1 we are the uh, coefficient of the linear term if you get 2 into minus 10 uh, and if you add 2 plus minus 10 minus 10 that one also not matches 4 into minus 5 4 plus minus 5 is minus 1 whereas we need the coefficient as plus 1 now there's a kind of a similarity you can understand that only the problem is the sign then we will write this 4 into minus 5 as minus 4 into 5 and if you add them you get the exactly uh, computable solution for 1 therefore I will split x as 5x minus 4x then the quadratic expression x squared plus x minus 20 breaks into x squared plus 5x minus 4x plus minus 20 and if you get the common factors in the initial stage you can understand that x would be common between first two terms and 
minus 2 into 2 would be common for next two terms. If you take x from first two terms, x plus 5 is common, minus 4 from other two terms, again x plus 5 is common, then x plus 5 common between the uh, as a step of this expression. Therefore, if you take x plus 5 out, it turns into x plus 5 times of x minus 4, which is the final answer for this question. If we start with this question, the question is to factorize 3x squared plus 14x plus 8. Now, the coefficient of the quadratic term is 3 and the constant term is 8. Therefore, if you multiply 3 into 8 is 24, we can find the factors of 24, whereas its addition would be similar to 14. The computable solution would be 2 into 12, whereas 2 plus 12 is exactly matches with 14. Therefore, I can split 3x squared plus 14x plus 8 as 3x squared plus 2x plus 12x plus 8. In this case, even children, we have to understand there is a one common mistake where most of the students do. They think that the last number you should write it as 24, whereas 3 into 8. But that 3 into 8 fact we use to identify the, uh, the splitting factor only. Not, not that 24 is not the last constant term. Therefore, you have to write 3x squared plus 14x plus 8 as 3x squared plus 2x plus 12x plus 8 and if you follow up the steps you can understand that x would be common from first two terms and plus 4 is common from next two terms it turns into x times of 3x plus 2 plus 4 times of 3x plus 2 if you do it perfectly definitely you will get this uh, the bracket as a common term if you if you don't get the uh, uh, what you call the same uh, bracket in the next this step means you haven't done this factorizing process properly therefore you have to uh, do it from the beginning. Therefore, you can write the final answer as 3x plus 2 times of x plus 4. This is our last example in this video. We have to factorize 2x squared plus 7x minus 15. Then, if you multiply uh, 2 by minus 15, the coefficient of a quadratic term with the constant term, answer is minus 30. If you get the factors of minus 30, 1 into minus 30 is the first alternate we have considered. 1 plus minus 30 become minus 29 which is not matches with 7. The next alternate is 2 into minus 15. 2 plus minus 15 is minus 13. That one also not suitable. Then uh, if you come up with 3 into minus 10, that is 3 plus minus 10, it's minus 7 but what we need is plus 7. Therefore, I will write minus 30 as minus 3 into plus 10. And if you add, the, add these two terms, you will get the exact answer plus 7. Therefore, you can split 2x squared plus 7x minus 15 as 2x squared minus 3x plus 10x minus 15. With that, if you follow up the same steps, you can understand that uh, x would be common from first two terms and 5 would be common from the next two terms. If you take them out, uh, the brackets turn up into x times of 2x minus 3 plus 5 times of 2x minus 3 as I mentioned in the previous uh, uh, slide D1. If you do this perfectly, you will get the same bracket at this stage. Therefore, 3x plus 2, sorry, uh, 2x minus 3 would be common and you will get the final answer as 2x minus 3 times of x plus 5. Hope you have enjoyed my video.